Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be studying about the concept of session layer of the OSI reference model. So let's start with what is session layer and what is a meaning of a session. So a session is any kind of temporary and interactive exchange of information that happens between the devices, two or more devices that are communicating on a network. So if there are two devices or two hosts which are interacting with each other or exchanging data, then for the duration of that data exchange, the interactive exchange that happens and the temporary connection that is set up is known as a session. So a session is a sequence of exchange of requests and responses. So generally one of the two machines which are interacting requests some information from the other machine and the other machine fulfills that requests and gives the reply in the form of a response. Okay, So a session consists of generally a sequence of requests and responses. Now let us understand what is the session layer of the OSI model. So the session layer is the fifth layer of the OSI model. So this is a very important point that you must know and remember that session layer lies just above the transport layer and just below the presentation layer. So it interacts with the transport layer as well as the presentation layer in the OSI reference model. Okay. So transport layer and presentation layer interact with the session layer in the OSI reference model. Now the responsibility of the session layer is to create that means to start a session to manage the session that has been started then perform synchronization among the data that is being exchanged and finally terminate or end the sessions that have been started between the processes of end user applications okay so when two machines are interacting they have started they would have started some applications on their machines on their hosts or systems and those applications when they interact with each other a session is established so once the session gets established the responsibility of the session layer is to manage that session synchronize the data that is exchanged and then terminate the session between the processes of end user applications okay so these are two important characteristics of the session layer now let us come to the functionalities that are performed by the session layer so the first functionality includes dialogue control dialogue means the exchange of data that is happening so session layer allows the interacting systems to communicate with each other and this communication can either be full duplex or it can be half duplex so we have learned what is full duplex and half duplex full ba duplex basically means that both the systems that are interacting with each other share a common connection through which both the sides can send information as well as receive information at any given time so the sender can become the receiver at any other point in the conversation and this exchange of data can happen simultaneously but in half duplex although both the machines can either become a sender or receiver at different given points but they cannot become the sender and receiver at the same time so simultaneously no exchange can happen in both directions now the second function of session layer is token management so what is token management token is basically a software entity that is given to a machine so that that particular machine can perform the required operations at that given amount of time or at that particular point of time so the session layer ensures that only one machine at a time 
performs any critical operation no more than one machine is able to perform the same operation at the same time so the session layer restricts or it limits the number of hosts or machines that can perform the same task at the same time so the only the machine that has the token will be allowed to perform the operation other machines will have to wait or other systems that are interacting will have to wait unless and until they get the token in their chance next comes the functionality of checkpoint and synchronization so checkpoint are the points that are inserted by the session layer in between the conversation that is happening between the two devices and these checkpoints help to synchronize the communication or the data exchange that is happening so what does this mean checkpoints are added to synchronize long streams of data such that the data between any two checkpoints is received and acknowledged so if there is a long stream of data which is being exchanged by a user and by a sender and a receiver then the session layer adds points at different location or at regular intervals so all the uh, all the data that is being exchanged between one between any two checkpoints is acknowledged by the receiver and even if a failure occurs only the data after the checkpoint will be resent so only data after the last checkpoint is resent okay so what does this mean so there is no need of resending the entire data back to the receiver why see because when there is a checkpoint there is a starting checkpoint and there is an ending checkpoint so if the receiver has got this part of the data and it has sent the acknowledgement for the same then we do not need to resend this data next if some failure occurs during this point between this checkpoint and this checkpoint then we only need to send data from this particular checkpoint and not from the very beginning so only the data that is lying between two checkpoints as soon as it gets received it is acknowledged so that in further communication if any failure happens we go back to the last checkpoint that was acknowledged and resend the data from that point onwards okay now the protocols that are followed at the session layer includes asp which is apple talk session protocol the next is rpc rpc stands for remote procedure call remote procedure call and the last is scp scp stands for session control protocol okay so the protocols that are used at the se session layer there are many such protocols but some of them or the most famous of them are these three okay so if in your theory exams it is asked what are the functionalities of the session layer what is a session what is the session layer itself and what is its functionality with respect to other layers you can write down all this content give some examples of the protocol explain these individual points and you'll be able to score your marks so that's all for today's video thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam